He wouldn't receive the ceiling because he wouldn't have been led by God. And there's so many times when we leave the house of God, even God will lead us to do start doing certain things. The Holy Ghost will be talking to us after he's healed us spiritually, emotionally, physically. Oh, come on now. I'm, I'm all, it's all good. And we don't do those things. And we don't maintain that very thing that God just did. Amen? So, so then he came seeing. And, and neighbor, the neighbors, therefore, and, and they which were before had seen him, that he was blind, said, Is not, this not he that sat and begged? And some said, This is he. Others said, He is like him. But he said, I am he. <coughs> They're like, No, it can't be. And you'll find there will always be people that believe what God did to you. And there will always be people that don't believe. Just leave them to God. As long as you know the truth. James 5, 14 through 15. James 5, 14 through 15. Our last <coughs> scripture on Jehovah Rapha. Is any sick among you? Now, let's just break this down for a minute. I don't want to rush past it. I know we're a little past eight. You know, when we start talking about healing and healing resisting sickness and you start getting amongst people that are really faith believers, sometimes, you know, there's extremes in everything. So, if he's asking, is there any sick among you? But for healing resisting sickness, I mean, you all know this, so it may, it's, this may kind of seem, melt your minds and go back the other way. But guess what that means? There's going to be sick among us. There's going to be people that get sick, that are healed resisting sickness. And guess what? They can pray all they want, but sometimes it takes a little more than that. Are you with me? Or maybe their faith is in a place. That's a whole other message. I but. So, you know, the first thing when you start resisting sickness, the enemy wants to beat you up for being sick. So this verse always encouraged me because is there any sick among you? And you can say, I fit in that category right now. I'm resisting. Okay, great. It says, let him call for the elders of the church. Now that would be prophets, apostles, pastors, evangelists, deacons, deaconesses. And then it says, let them wish him well. <laughs> What's it say? Let them pray over him. Now, did this say, let them come and have a 24-hour prayer vigil? <laughs> no. But isn't that what we want to happen sometimes when we're the ones resisting sickness? Because we can't, the enemy doesn't want us to believe it can be so simple as someone simply just praying the word over us. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. And it says, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. Now, there's tons of things. How many know we anoint with oil around here? There's some up there. And the oil is also the anointing of God. So... And oil represents things that just don't rub off all that easily. So it's also a covering. But there's more I can teach that some other time. And the prayer of faith uh, might save the sick. Shall. Yeah. When, when it's shall, what's that mean? It will. It will. It will. Now, so whenever you we have special prayer, and you come up, and... What if you don't fall out in the Holy Ghost? Are you still healed? Yeah. Yeah. What if you do fall out in the Holy Ghost? That doesn't mean you're healed. <laughs> but what about the prayer of faith been prayed? You're healed. And, and it says, And the Lord shall raise him up. Now, if I'm raising something up, Am I doing it all at once? 
or is it a process? Process. Oh. So we call for the elders of the church, and they lay hands on us and anoint us with oil, and we believe, and we shall be healed. It's now a finished work at the cross. <laughs> Same way Jehovah Rapha we've done. And then it, God is going to start raising us up, whatever physically, spiritually, and emotionally. And that is a process. process. So now we're in a restoration place. Are you with me? And God will start bringing us back to complete. And sometimes you'll think, you'll think you're healed. And honestly, you're just back to the place you was and God's just getting started because His level of restoration is way higher than what you've ever experienced. And that's why sometimes you'll be like, I went to get healed and I had all this stuff and oh, well, I'm better, but I, I'm dealing with all these other issues now. That's because God started really fixing the house. <coughs> Amen? Amen. And so the prayer of six shall, prayer of faith shall save the six. Now, I kind of jumped over this because I teach a lot on faith around here. But what do you have to have? Faith. So do you want to come have a, do you want to belong to a church where the pastor really doesn't have any faith? No. <laughs> it sounds funny, but Unfortunately, it's something we have to be wise of today. Yeah. I hope it happens. It might happen. We can, we'll just trust God. If it's God's will. I've heard that. <laughs> God said, you know, and some people think, well, how can you say that? Because it's not me saying it. It's the Word of God. You shall be healed. Not coulda, shoulda, woulda. My job is to believe it's God's job to decide when and where. He's Jehovah Rapha. Amen. So the prayer of faith. And the Lord shall raise them up. And if you have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Because here's a key that gets missed a lot. How are the how is sin forgiven? How how is the only way sin can be forgiven? I'll give you a I'll give you a hint. First John 1 9. Confess your sins, God is faithful. Now, do you have to confess to a man? No, you confess to the Lord. But when you come to the elders of the church, they're going to probably usually know. And they're going to check in their spirit. And they're going to ask you if everything is all right. It happens. Most of the times. And then you're going to say, well, I got some stuff. and They'll give you a minute to get right. Now, all that thing, it, so now it doesn't matter what reason that is that thing was on you. They've just covered everything to get you right so now that God can start restoring you. Amen. You know, some people have gotten offended with me when they've come up and asked for healing. I'll say, well, have you got anything you need to take care of with God? No. Well, initially, like, well, there's one thing. <laughs> I can't say that because they're already not approachable. And, you know, and then I can pray all I want. But it's not going to be done until they get those things taken care of. Amen? But when they do, then they, they do. So that is how that is taken care of. Those uncommitted sins are forgiven. Because you get it taken care of. Because, by, by the way, if you're usually sick enough to come up for the elders to pray on, you've done, uh, you're, you're ready to get whatever it is just to be right. You're like, you know. And there's been times when I was on the other I couldn't wait to get somewhere for the elders to pray, but I can tell you, Sunday couldn't get there fast enough. Wednesday couldn't get there fast enough. I just wanted to be healed. I was resisting, and I was I was tired of resisting. And it's something we need to see a revival in in the church. Amen. Anyways, that's free. All right. Eight fourteen. <clears throat> Give me. Five people, oh. one nugget, what you got, and we'll call it a night. Oh, like five five minutes. Minutes. Yeah. All right, that's five, ten, fifteen, twenty. I can get another hour out of this real quick. 
What's the nugget you got from tonight, Sister Heather? You have to be led for your healing. Yeah, for your healing. You Not healing. always, but it's one of the processes. Yeah, yeah sometimes. Yes, sir. Spiritual healing goes along with physical healing. Amen. Good stuff. Yes, ma'am. Your sickness may not be as a result of sin, but for the glory of God. Amen. Sister, Pastor Tammy. Um, just like in Jeremiah when he said about that he will save us and it's a done work, you know, the healing is also a done work and we should believe for our healing just as we believed when we were saved. We were saved. Amen. Good stuff. Yes, ma'am. We have to change our mindsets about how we think God's going to heal somebody. Amen. Good stuff. Well, that was five. Anybody else? Uh, really can't. That absolutely everything that is done for God's glory and not for man. Amen. Amen. That's good stuff. Brother, sister, I'm sorry. I'm struggling. Sister, Dad. One of the things we didn't mention, like in Jeremiah, is about the praise. With us praising the Lord, you know. Uh, accepting our healing and allowing God to heal us and continuing to praise Him even during the sickness and in the healing. Yeah, all through the restoration. That's part of changing our focus. Hey, another one. <laughs> yes, ma'am. God may ask you to do something you may not understand why. Yeah, it happens to me all the time. <laughs> and sometimes the people you're, you're telling don't always understand yeah. why. But it comes as a fruit, I can promise you, if it's God. Always does. Anybody else tonight? You have to get all the unbelief out of the room. For... Yeah. yeah. And that's that's not always possible in today's society. But I've dealt with a lot. I've been in churches before where it's been more unbelief than not. And I've had to say, hey, you know, if you, I, was, I was somewhere one time. It may have been a broken chain. So I don't remember. <laughs> Who knows? But I said, if you don't believe God can heal this person, would you please just go ahead and leave? And half the church got up and left. And then that person got healed. Wow. True story. I, but I wasn't trying to be ugly. You know. But, uh, that was just one of the things God's had me do. <laughs> Many. Any, anybody else tonight? You, you all did great. That was quick, too. <laughs> Amen. <We're learning. laughs> yeah. Jehovah Rapha. And so... We'll continue on the names of God next Wednesday. How many's enjoying the names of God series? Amen. 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 Who He is for you, who He wants to be in you, and who He wants to be through you. How many would really like to enter? How many want to become a deeper relationship with Jehovah Rapha? Amen. How many want Him to start kind of? Wouldn't it be cool to be have Him use you Amen. to introduce somebody else to Jehovah Rapha? Because most people believe God heals; they just have no idea. How, why, or they have no idea who they really have no idea really who Jehovah Rapha is. And unfortunately, most of the times it's people doing the hindering and not not the Lord. And uh, the sooner you get people to see that, the sooner you can get or they don't have the faith or the knowledge. There's there's many faucets. We covered many, amen. And uh, just like that woman with that tumor, I believe that whole thing was for the glory of God. And uh, God used it miraculously. I, I bet you she didn't enjoy it growing up, but you know. Anyways, that's, love y'all. Go on to, let's go into peace and the joy of God. In Jesus' name. I, I just want to encourage you. There's nothing better than spending time with God. I encourage you to spend some time with Him. Lord, we just pray that your joy just goes with your people tonight. You fill them, you touch them, you renew them. God, we believe these things in Jesus' strong name. Amen. 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 And as for the record, see, we covered all areas. Does anybody, did, we, did I leave out any areas of how sickness comes and things? I think I covered most of them, right? And it's not always because you did something wrong. I mean, otherwise the Apostle Paul would have been disqualified. Amen. I can't tell you how many times he's encouraged me when I've read where the place he was ministering at didn't hold it against him because he was resisting something and they still received. You know, that encouraged, I mean, you know how many millions of preachers that's probably encouraged since that was written? But they just they caused them not to give up because they were resisting something because the enemy was trying to beat on them. 
And Paul had no idea what he was doing for the glory of God when he was resisting that thing and carrying on, even with it. Isn't that good? Yeah. Amen. Jehovah Rapha. Go and get out of here. I'm feeling I could preach tonight. 